There is nothing that frustrates me more than playing back choppy footage off Adobe Premiere Pro. People will always say, oh, you just need to get better specs. I honestly believe I have very nice specs. I'm pretty sure everybody has very nice specs for, you know, for editing a video. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM when they're editing a video off Premiere Pro. The thing is, as far as Premiere Pro goes, sometimes it just doesn't play back as smooth in certain cases, depending on how far you're taking your project. So I have came up with three ways for you to play back your footage smoothly as possible, whether you're on 4K, 8K, or whatever resolution is way higher than that. Before we actually get to the editing aspect of things, I really would recommend you guys to first try to invest in a portable hard drive, which is the Samsung portable SSD terabyte five or whatever's before that. Anything in the SSD column, I would recommend that, especially if you're an editor. It runs very, very smooth for your footage. I strictly only use this drive just for editing. I have two more other drives, but that's for storing my actual footage. This drive is just really for editing. So that's one way you guys can have smoother playback, which is having a, a different drive. And to include, it's not very good to store your footage on your computer, it actually slows down your computer in the process and you guys do not want that. It's good to have multiple hard drives and I might make a video on that pretty soon on storing your footage. So right now we're on Premiere Pro. Um, I'm gonna show you guys two more ways to have smooth playback whenever you're editing a video. So right now we're gonna go to Premiere Pro. We're gonna go to Preferences we are going to go to media catch so i want you guys to delete the unused so basically what premiere pro does as you're making a project it just keeps unnecessary files and it's not project files or anything it's just like it's just like you know random stuff that's really not needed it actually holds a lot more storage so when you delete it you're gonna see a lot more space on your computer um premiere pro is gonna run a lot more smoother it's really really good to just delete this so we're just gonna do it right now i already I already kind of cleaned up i already kind of cleaned it up anyway so i don't really make a difference another thing to make sure i have clear clear playback is doing proxies video adobe media encoder is very very good to do proxies i mean this might be my biggest tip out this entire video is to make sure you proxy all of your files especially especially if you have 4k files running on your timeline so what you guys just want to do in future references just make a new bin put all your footage in here right click on the bin click proxy create proxies make sure your format is on h.264 make sure your presets on 1280 by 720 um pick a folder i already have a folder um named as proxy click ok it's going to create the proxy job so basically what's happening right now is adobe media encoder is basically subbing your clip and making it a 720p file it's not really a 720p file it's just playing back in 720p so as you guys click it's basically going to read it as a 720p file so it can run more smoother so what adobe media encoder just did for you was it basically made a 720p version of your files so it's going to play back in 720p it's just going to take a little quality off but it's it's actually not that bad um you guys will have the option of switching back to see how your footage really looks and as with toggle as with toggle proxies and if, if it doesn't show right here already you guys could go to the button editor you guys should see it right here just drag it and click it right here just drag it and just leave it right there and you guys should be good to go so basically those were my three ways of having the smoothest playback when it comes to working with adobe premiere pro i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe for more content i have a lot more stuff on the way i'm gonna see you guys later